Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beardman. Today, we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com titled Freefall under the topic of kinematics. In the up and down video, which I made previous to this, I went through this screen and talked about it. I'll talk about it briefly here if you want to see uh, it expanded a little bit more. I'll link the up and down video here because some of you may watch this one first. So acceleration caused by gravity, the Earth's gravitational field pulls other objects with mass towards itself. Later on, we'll talk about how two things with mass actually attract each other. For right now, we'll just talk about a gravitational field around the Earth. That gravitational field is 9.8 newtons per kilogram when you're near the surface. Um, that has the same units as 9.8 meters per second squared, or meters per second per second, which is an acceleration. And we will round that off to 10 meters per second per second, or 10 meters per second squared, for the purposes of this video in Concept Builder. All right. Uh, the first level describes uh, free fall. So while on the surface of the Earth, sorry, there are questions that ask you things like, is this increasing or decreasing? Is this remaining the same? Uh, such as that. So here's the th things that you'll need to know. While the surface of the Earth, while on the surface of the Earth, the acceleration of gravity, and therefore force of gravity, is always pointing down. And it is always 10 meters per second squared. So never tell me that the acceleration is increasing or decreasing at every single point it is 10 meters per second down sometimes you'll call that negative 10 meters per second all right um, then uh, second gravity slows things down that are moving up and speeds them up that are moving down since acceleration is down if it started with 30 meters per second then Next, it would be going 20 meters per second, and then it'd be going 10 meters per second, and then it would be stopped, it'd be at zero up there, and then it'd be going down. But as it goes down, it's going to speed up because it's accelerating down. I don't have enough room to make a nice long one there. Um, and so that's that's what you'd be paying attention to. It's it's slowing down on its way up. The velocity is slowing down on the way up, and the velocity is increasing on the way down. But the acceleration is the same the whole way. There is a question that has dot diagrams in here. If you are unfamiliar with dot diagrams, I'm going to link you here to a video uh, that the beginning portion of that describes dot diagrams. Okay, the next level is called speedometer. Okay, and so it's important in this level to recognize that an acceleration, the acceleration of gravity is negative 10 meters per second squared, and that means that each second the speed changes by 10 meters per second down. It's slowing down on the way up and speeding up on the way down. So if it starts out, if the problem tells you it starts out at 30 meters per second going up, Okay, and of course that's up. Then one second later, these dots are all one second apart. It'll be going 20 up. Then it'll be going 10 up. Notice it's changing by 10 down each time. Since it's going up, 10 down, a 10 down change makes it smaller and smaller. At the top, it'll be zero. Then we'll have a, a velocity of 10 down. Then 20 down, notice it's speeding up now and 30 down. Okay, and these questions, what they'll do is they'll ask at which point the object will have a certain velocity. So they'll tell you that it starts out at 30, and they'll say, but at which point does it have a velocity of 20 meters per second down? Well, is where it has 20 meters per second down, so you'd choose F. The one thing you have to be careful of is sometimes it'll ask you for 20 meters per second down, and sometimes it'll ask you for 20 meters per second up. So make sure you're reading carefully whether it's, you're looking for the downward or upward velocity, because that makes a difference. If you get locked into one and think they're all the same, you'll make a few mistakes. Okay, but then just remember the direction uh, matters, so make sure you're paying attention to which direction. And that's the master level. On to the wizard level. 
Okay, so the wizard level, it's all about time, or it's about time. It's about time. All right, the, remember the ball takes one second to change its speed by 10 meters per second downward because of the acceleration, okay? So if we look through this, and this is 30, and this is 20, and this is 10, that's 0, 10, 20, 30. Well, how long did this journey take? Well, this part of the journey took one second. This part of the journey took one second. This part of the journey took one second. So that's three seconds for the way up. That part of the journey took one second, one second, one second. Three seconds on the way down for a total of six seconds for the whole journey. Okay, and that's one of the types of problems you'll have to do. Of course, your starting speed might be a little bit different, which just means you have more seconds on the way up. One second to slow it down 10 meters per second. So if it started out at 50, it's going to take five seconds to slow it down to zero. All right, next uh, qu type of question you'll see in the wizard level will read like this. I find these the ones that throw students off the most, so I want to spend the most time on this. I think you get four of these. A ball is equipped with a speedometer and launched straight upward. Pay attention to the direction. Uh, I think it's always going to be launched upward. Um, the speedometer reading four seconds after launch is shown to the right. Okay. Um, it could, well, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So uh, what you have to do is you have to figure out uh, kind of how many little dots they're going to be here. Well, if it's going 20 up after four seconds, so here it's going 20 up, we know it's going to go to 10 before it hits zero, okay? And if it's four seconds after, one second before that it's going 30, one second before that it's going 40, one second before that it's going 50, and one second before that it's going 60. So that's one, two, three, four seconds after launch, it's going 20. Or four seconds before 20, it was launched, which means it was launched at 60. Okay, so then the question is, at what approximate times would the ball be moving? And then pay close attention to this word, because sometimes it'll be upward, sometimes it'll be downward. Uh, will the ball be moving downward and display the following readings? So when's it going to be going downward and reading 20? Well, there's 20, and that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 seconds after it was launched. Okay? When would it be going downward with 10? That'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 seconds after launch. Okay, I would encourage you to draw out a little picture if you're having trouble picturing this or just figuring it out in your head. Um, but if you can do it in your head, great. That's wonderful. All right. Uh, hope Have fun puzzling through these. Make sure you're understanding the concept of how the speed is changing as it's moving up and back down. And if you have any questions, put those in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and helped you understand the concept builder and physics, click like and subscribe. And we'll see you the next time on the scientific adventures of Beardman.